in the boats, the name came from Wisconsin. Right. In like 1976, sitting around talking about great band names that everyone does, you know. It's just like another one of those those sessions. And I lived in a, a housing co-op in Madison. I was 18 years old. And we were talking about great band names. And I have no idea what I had in my mind at the time. But this, this roommate said, I'd like to one day see a band called Ed and the Boats. And that just seemed so absurd to me. And I, I immediately had a vision of this thing, like a reader from first grade, like a, two little white kids, a girl and a boy, and the boy's like kneeling over a pond in, in a city park with a with a toy boat, you know, with a mm-hmm. thing like that. He's got like a, a red and white horizontally striped shirt. You know, and that's and, Ed? That little kid? No, nah, no, it's just, I don't know. I don't <laughs> Who know. is Ed? Damn it. I didn't care, you know. I never, I, I, we, we got to conceptualizing more later on. As right, we exactly. But somehow Ed and the Boats had to do with this, this really, you know, and like how there would be like on, on refrigerators, there was those letters, those magnetic letters with that certain Big kind of color. orange and, and green. It was all about that. It was just all this sort of like, what a, what a stupid thing to bring to rock and roll. What a, what a. What a wrong kind of concept, and that's and it made me kind of cry and laugh inside and shivers. It was like actually religious. <laughs> what a wrong concept! <laughs> what a wrong yeah, thing to bring. So wrong, wrong, it's right. And I yeah. and I turned to Craighead Samuel Alexander and said, "Someday there will be a band <laughs> called Ed the Boats." You know, first off, over the years, in my strange imagination, I tr- changed that story around to uh, what was the guy's name? Samuel Craighead Alexander. I think we called him Craig. I turned him into a stranger that you met on the road that you were just shacking up with somewhere along the road, and he was a heroin addict. <laughs> this is true. true. This is true. I don't know why. This. As I've told the story over the years, that's what I told him. <laughs> well, man was on the road hitchhiking. He met this guy, this heroin addict. They were watching TV one day, and this guy said that. And I don't know why that turned into that. But uh, I wish there was a band called Ed and the Boats. Why don't you get <laughs> some dope? <laughs> And then he died. <laughs> that was his last. And the bones. Well, the last I heard about the, the guy that, that named it, he's still living in Angels Camp, California. So I don't know. I'll look him up Angels on Angels Camp. Well, that'd be a great band name. Yeah, man.